what up guys I'm gonna show you guys how to pr pretty much edit and nest a part on your Amada fiber laser so right here we have all our files um, if there's more than one file in every folder you could click on this arrow and I'll show you all the files that we have sorted out and organized <clears throat> so right here we're gonna we're gonna edit this so right here we're gonna enter let's say our sheet size so our sheet size let's say is 120 but by 60 I entered 120 by 60 sorry if I'm like kind of talking weird I'm fucking early in the morning it's like five all right so our part is right there on the selected size of the sheet we have to set our base point so our base point is gonna be this little cross right here right now it's saying our base point is at home which we could leave it there if our codes have a G98 that way you could tell it where to go like let's say we would tell it X one inch Y one inch and it'll lead you somewhere around here but what I like doing I'll go to part base point you could pick your your base point on your lower left which is right here on your upper left which is gonna be right here upper right right here and lower right right here um, the lower left I usually like using that one just because I could um, see it better which is in my right side the door is right in front of the control so I'm gonna pick my lower left lower left now I'm gonna go to apply once you press apply you could go to multiple part what I really like about this function on the multiple part either you could press piece count and it'll fit as many as you want in the sheet or you could put let's say you want on your Y you only want two or you only need two pieces you would put two pieces enter and it'll give you two pieces this is the spacing between the part, your X and your Y value. This is the processing sequence. So if you have small parts, either you wanna make it run like this, like that, depends on what way you want it to run. This really helps you out when you have parts that are tipping or if you need it not to heat up like a really thick sheet, you'll wanna run some parts here and then move over here and then, you know, scattered that way your sheet won't warp <coughs> so right here what I would do in this case right here we have a lot of rem so I would leave it as that and I would go to part layout okay either you could add another part to add load it'll take you to your folders again you'll click whatever file you want and it'll appear right here you could add it into the same sheet what I really like doing is just going to multiple part pressing one one and then going to part layout and I like rotating my parts I usually just try to see how many I could fit in the sheet as many parts as I could fit the better so right here I rotated the part now I'll go to my multiple parts and for some reason it's not it's not letting me do it but we'll try it out right here piece count okay so it's not letting me do it so we'll go Y I'll go five apply so I have five I got maybe three more so I'll go eight apply so we fit eight in this piece right here but I could add more on this side right here so I would go to add load 
and depending on what file you pick let's say we want a different uh, different part we're gonna pick let's say that part so from right here is really neat <coughs> sorry guys kind of sit so right here what I don't like or maybe there is a function out there that does it but I haven't figured it out yet um, <coughs> that I can't just put multiple parts of this and then just make it fit in the sheet I have to actually go to copy once you copy it it drags to that side and you have to automatically like organize it yourself you know which is pretty neat but it's really time consuming so it doesn't really help you out if you're in like fast production what I really like doing is just finding something like this this part that is long and just fill in the space these parts are pretty big so it's kind of easy to fit more parts so I would put them right there you guys get the concept so that's pretty much how you like edit and you nest your actual parts right here is your your codes so once you like pretty much generate it from the nesting it'll automatically give you a G98 which a G98 you'll have a P and a K um, that determines how many parts you need so P is gonna be your Y and K is gonna be your X um, let's say you cut the first one you ran out of gas so the machine stopped you accidentally reset it and you send it home and you want to go to your second part you would go to your G75 I believe of the first nest so what's really neat right here is that it's separated so right here this program is for this this file of parts and this is for these two right here so here's the G75 your P <clears throat> let's say you did three let's say three two parts one part it doesn't really matter you want to go to your fourth part you would change your P to P4 redraw and you see it takes you to your fourth part so G75 is really neat especially when something happens and you want to go back to where you like actually landed up but what I really don't like is that you can't just um, go to your last M104 and actually land on the actual hole just because this whole program repeats itself once it does one part it goes back to the top because of the V but like the machine actually has a really cool function also that you could press operations on the process monitor monitor right now we were on the edit program um, on the operation you could go to either resume or retry I suggest you to go home to your home position and then press resume you could do it in like wherever the head is at but like I had I've had bad experiences on like actually resuming it again and then something else happens like a part tips over and it hits the head or just like small little things that happen and I press home and it's sending me home to the center like where I started so it's better to send it home and then go to that spot just in case if something else happens you have your same home position what you could also do is go to your panel 